only 19 sleeps left till Christmas. So today we're going to be doing a bit of baking. Now I'm not very good at baking, but I'm going to have a go. So if I can have a go, you can have a go. We're going to be making something called Pepper Norton. I hope that's how you say it. That's Dutch word that they speak in the Netherlands for, for this kind of little sweet biscuit that we're making today. I'll tell you a little bit about it as we go along, but you're going to need some chopped up butter or marge. You need 150 grams of that. You need 250 grams of self-raising flour. 125 grams of dark caster sugar or ordinary caster sugar would probably be okay. Some gingerbread spice if you've got it. I haven't got that and I couldn't get it in our supermarkets so I put you mixed spice which is very similar. Two teaspoons of that, half a teaspoon of salt and a dash of milk. And what we're going to do first of all is we're going to sieve, oh I've washed my hands of course, we're going to sieve the flour into the butter. Now that I've sieved in the flour, I'm going to start to mix it in with my fingers. Once we've managed to get all of the flour and butter or margarine into this kind of bread crummy mixture, then we can add our caster sugar and we will add in our spice and a little bit of salt. Oh, let's make sure we get it all in and carry on mixing. Okay, so once that's all mixed together like this like kind of breadcrumb mixture, then we're going to add in a little bit, just a little bit of milk. And again, we're going to mix it in with our hands. Do you like doing this kind of thing? It may, oh, it's cold. It makes your hands feel a bit slimy. And you can decide whether you need to mix in a little bit more. I, I need a little bit more in there. OK, so carry on mixing it and mixing it and mixing it. And by now, it should start to stick together. And if yours is like mine, it'll be sticking on your hands. Oh, dear. Right, still all stuck on my hands. So I need to knead this for around about five minutes. So when you get it out of the fridge, unwrap it. Now I've sprinkled a little bit of flour on because it was still a little bit sticky. And when you unwrap it, then you can roll it out to make it into a kind of sausage shape like this. Cut it up so you're just doing a little bit of it at a time. Don't try and do it all at once. And when you've done that, then you can cut or break a little bit off, roll it into a ball and pop it, pop it onto your baking tray like this. I've finished doing these. I'm going to pop them into the oven. Make sure you get a grown up to help you with this. I'm going to pop them into the oven And it's going on 160 degrees, or that's gas mark three, for 15 minutes, okay? When they're cool enough, mm -hmm. you could offer them to somebody. Sinterklaas. Sinterklaas. Or Sinterklaas. Sinterklaas. Like St. Nicholas. Uh-huh. These are called Pippenorton. Pippenorton. Mm. Mm. Would you like to try one? Mm. Mm. Nice. Yeah. So you can have a traditional Dutch treat from the Netherlands today. So, hope you enjoy passing them round and enjoy them yourself. Mm -hmm. And see you again tomorrow. Bye. <clears throat> Mary and Joseph had to leave Nazareth to travel to Bethlehem. Just about the time that baby Jesus was due to be born. 
Bethlehem's just a small town, but it was best known because the great King David had come from that small town of Bethlehem. So sometimes it's called David's town. It was a long way to travel from Nazareth to Bethlehem.